Hey guys, what's going on? Here we are um, back with another uh, video where uh, this is in the background right now is showing you my personal best on the Glide uh, Cavern map. Um, I'm in at 5.550 I think it is and that's uh, about 1.2 seconds off the world record. It's actually ninth place. This is like the most highly contest, uh, contested map as uh, a lot of people that don't even have the DLCs, they just play this, just this map. So um, yeah, that's why it's, it's quite hard and I haven't really uploaded one since my minute 10 and I haven't done a video in a while, so I'm like, hey, why don't I just do this, right? Um, so yeah, anyway, we'll go through and I'll show you this in the background, then I'll do my usual half-speed tutorial um, and kind of, you know, so you guys could um, do it. I know that this is the uh, record route. Um, there might be like some slight like changes in terms of like how you go through things and do stuff like that. It might be like, um, if you get what I mean, that's how you like shave off the extra second um, as it's very hard to be able to uh, uh, do. Um, and yeah, anyway, this is the best that I was able to do. Uh, like I said, it's about five seconds faster than my last one, which was a slightly different route. Um, but no, this is, uh, this is my best time. So, um, yeah, uh, I will, uh, give you guys a quick tutorial now and kind of go over what exactly I did in half speed. Okay, so to start off, you kind of want to go a bit low at the beginning. The beginning, there's actually quite a bit of different ways um, to do it in order to uh, get the uh, about the same time, I've noticed, um, because uh, basically what you want is when you hit the first boost that we'll take, which you'll see in a minute, you want to have about um, just around the 15 seconds, like at the very beginning of it. Um, but anyway, yeah, what I chose to do is I go a bit um, above this area, and then I kind of just follow through, and I tilt myself just a bit up. Um, when I hit the first corner, I'm usually going about 32 meters per second, and I tip up about 34. So I'm going through here, and I'm still slightly gaining speed, not very much, and I kind of tip myself up a little bit more, and I actually start just slightly losing speed. And then you quickly make that turn through there, and you basically you want to hit that boost, and you want to go down like as fast as you can, so that basically you're using the boost uh, speed that it would be giving you to go up through it, except you're just going straight and you have enough speed that you should be able to do that then through here you kind of want to just get through it you cut it as close as you possibly can um, and same thing with the roof right through there then you want to spike up a little bit more I think if I could do it a little bit higher I think I uh, and maybe go up and try to do what I did back at the other area with the uh, orange boost I could be able to do it a little bit better of course you take this shortcut as it's the fastest and then you uh, go downwards towards through this area you go straight through that boost then what you want to do through here is you want to cut it I didn't quite cl cut it as close as I could and you want to cut it as close as you could you can to those boosts without hitting them and then you want to go dive right down through here um, and just barely go in between that pole and the uh, updraft there. Uh, you want to go down as far as you can to gain, gain speed and then you do the spike up and then to uh, put yourself up in the air and get speed and then go back down. You then hit this boost, you want to go flat um, and you basically you want to dive down to get into the boost and then you want to push up. Uh, if I did that again a bit more so, it could have gotten a bit of a faster time. It's a little bit harder to do some of these things because if you mess them up, you know, it kind of messes up the whole run. Um, and anyway, then you come through here and you jump, you try to get, if you can get a little bit more speed upwards, you can be able to do it a bit better. You want to go through this area right down here. And then basically what you want to do is you just want to stay kind of close to the roof and you kind of just want to angle it once you get past that little bump, just right towards the finish line and go through. So that's how I got a minute 5.501. Um, and uh, yeah, I have a bunch of other videos that I have recorded in playlists on the side. So if you want to check those out, that'd be neat. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.